call this poem, Any Last Words? Any Last Words? God asked as he was eager for departure. No, I replied. You sure? Yeah, I'm fine. I wish this was true. I wish he really asked you that before the death started new. I found out my grandma passed away while I was on a cruise. Been a while since I had seen her, to be exact, it was two. Two years since I saw her face. She got sick so she couldn't see me graduate. My father always drove to see her, but I never tagged along. I always found myself busy, but I felt I did it wrong. One trip and my mind would be more at ease. My soul would be at rest while hers rests in peace. But I know that up there she's smiling down on me, telling God to get ready to put the crown on me. Grandma, I'm ready. Continue to let your love shower down on me. I won't let you down. I'll leave, the, I'll leave a legacy before we again meet. How sweet. I love you, Grandma. My aunt lived to be a hundred. We decided to throw a party for her, you know, because very few people live that long. I caught her sitting down. I asked her, are you having fun? She said, yeah. Then we checked off topics one by one. She started off by saying how proud she was, how I've grown from a little kid to the man I've become. Talked about my siblings and how amazing my mama is. I agreed. She's so strong. Without her, I have no life to live. She even asked me about my beautiful girlfriend. It's sad that they never met before she reached her end. I left that party with my head held high, glad that her and I conversed before she finally died. If this poem has taught you anything, it's that the most precious thing is time. We have memories because we can't rewind. It's what we hold close. As time passes, it's all we have. We all make mistakes. Nobody is perfect. But is holding a grudge forever really worth it? My father and a friend of his had some tension, but he was going to attend my grandma's funeral and work things out. Same day as the funeral, he was found dead. Sad, right? R.I.P. John. These were his shoes. You don't know what you have until it's gone. You don't have to suppress emotion to be considered strong. Cry, smile, forgive, forget. That day you were mad at your friend could have been their last breath. I leave you with a question to think about. If God came up to you and asked, any last words, what would you do? What would you say? To whom would it be directed towards?